Hey, this is Chris Hernandez from Houston Combat Photography. And today I'm going to talk to you about why using this awesome Zeiss Icon Contaflex 1 from around 1953 is like being a gunner on an Abrams tank. So, uh, I used to be an Abrams gunner. It was my favorite job in the military. And one really cool thing about being a gunner on a tank is if something went wrong, you could keep shooting. Okay, if, if something wasn't working in the tank, there's other ways to make it work. It's called fighting in degraded mode. So if I'm moving the turret back and forth looking for targets, all of a sudden my power control handles go out, doesn't matter. I've got my manual control handles and I can instantly switch to that and move the turret that way. If my electronic sight goes out, that's fine. I switch to the auxiliary sight, which is purely mechanical. If I pull the trigger and the weapon doesn't fire, the main gun doesn't fire, I immediately switch to what we call the master blaster. If you've ever seen the World War II movies where they wire up a bridge to, you know, to blow it up and they have like a can with the T-handle on it and they turn it and it detonates the, the explosive, we had the same thing in the tank. Right there by your knee, pull the trigger, doesn't work, grab the master blaster, boom, you fire the main gun. So there's, there's workarounds, there's ways to get past the mechanical failures. And that brings us to the Contaflex. So this is a Zeiss Icon product, Zeiss Icon made bomb-proof stuff, they make, made fantastic cameras, cameras that are still very highly priced, take beautiful pictures, but the Contaflex, uh, in this, just in this case with this camera, the lubricant they used, I'm told, it was top of the line back then, but nobody knew that 70 years later it would basically turn to cement. So very often with these Contaflex cameras, what you find is that the shutter is stuck. It won't, it won't operate. Now people will think it's working because they buy one or you have a seller who doesn't know much about cameras and they honestly think it works because you cock it, you pull the trigger, and you hear that. So you think, oh, it, it worked. No, you didn't hear it work. What you heard was the mirror flip up. On this, you cock the shutter, that drops the mirror down into position so you can look through your viewfinder, compose and focus your image, and then you take the picture. The mirror flips up out of the way and then the shutter fires. Well, usually all you're hearing is the mirror, the shutter's not firing. So I bought this one and uh, the, the Seller was totally up front, said she didn't know it worked or not. I had no complaints about it. It shows up and the shutter ain't working. So uh, I don't want this to just be a display piece. I use my cameras. So I start trying to figure out how am I gonna make this thing work? I start trying some different things and uh, turns out I kind of in inadvertently figured out a way to make this work. So what I did with this camera, I suspect it'll work on most of these Contaflex cameras that are, that are locked up is I cock the shutter and then I use the self timer, the little self timer lever, I push that down, set the self timer. Then I compose my image and I push the shutter. Okay, push shutter release. The, the mirror flipped up, but the shutter didn't fire. So what do you do? What I found out what works with this one is beat on it a couple of times, come back up, recompose your image, and you're gonna see the shutter fire. I've got it about one second, so very slow. Oh, actually, I didn't have it on one second. I had it faster than that. Anyway, oh, I had it on ball. Um, so it works, okay? There's a workaround. You can make this thing work. Now, there is a problem with doing it that way because as I said, when you press the shutter release, the mirror flips up. When the mirror flips up, you can no longer see anything through here. So now what do you do? Well, you can either eyeball it Okay, and just kind of make your best estimate of uh, where it should be. Or you can get one something like this. This is a uh, Leica, it's called an Imarect. I didn't make the name, um, but it's basically a quick reference, like a speed finder, uh, sport finder, kind of, sort of like that. Uh, you can set it to whatever the focal length is on your lens. You can set the distance to however far away your subject is. And it's a quick reference. So what I do now, what I, I ran a roll through this. I'm gonna show you some pictures. But I ran a roll through this, and for every picture, I cocked it, composed through there, focused, set the self timer, press the shutter release, beat on it, and then I went to the quick reference, and I just held it and took my picture. And there you go. That was a one second exposure. 
Okay, so just like with the tank, when you're in degraded mode, you can't shoot as quick, you can't shoot quite as efficiently, but you can still do it. And the whole point with, with this is that you can still use this beautiful camera from the 1950s instead of it just sitting on a shelf. Now I figure if I beat this thing enough, uh, one of two things will happen. Either I will completely break it, and if that happens, I won't be any worse off than I would have been anyway or it'll spontaneously start working. I will knock loose whatever is in there, uh, jamming up the mechanism. As I was rehearsing for this video, twice, this thing worked correctly. So maybe it's getting better and it's eventually gonna work just fine. But anyway, here are some of the pictures that I took, uh, just kind of taking pictures of some, uh, some random stuff, some stuff in my house and uh, just, you know, out around the office. Um, this camera is, is a, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. These things all deserve to be used and loved. And so if you have one that's frozen up, maybe try my method, cock it, set the self timer, press the shutter release, beat on the bottom of it. Maybe it'll work and you can still take some beautiful pictures. So um, that's all I got for today. If anyone has any questions, please hit me up. Again, Chris Hernandez from Houston Combat Photography. Y'all take it easy.